Omega 19. Hello, everybody. Well, my name is Diesel Dog Dan, and welcome to another mod review. I haven't done one in a while. This is the Renault T Range, made by RTA Mods. Now, like I said in the drive along of this video, this truck, this is an absolutely fantastic mod. I cannot rate this high enough. It is brilliant with the just the even the side skirts on the truck. The tanks, the way it's made, the, just the model itself is actually amazing. So, in this video I'm going to be showing you what it would look like if you buy it from the dealer, what you can do to it, and then I'll do, like I say, an actual overlook, well, my opinion of the truck. So, on we go with a review. So, obviously, of course, you want to go to your local rental dealer. We'll go and visit selecting dealer. We'll go to the one in Felixstowe, which is where I got this one from. And you want to go to the very last one, number 9, and then you'll be presented with this. The Renault Range T High Sleeper. Now, I think this is the one that replaced the Magnum. Not entirely sure. You can tell straight away as soon as you get it in the dealer. It's just an absolutely fantastic, highly highly quality mod. So, we're going to be the config. Cabs, just the one cab, the High Sleeper. Now, chassis, you got, obviously, the four-wheeler. The 6x2, the... the like the mid-lift axle but just stays down constantly. Tag lift, mid-lift, and the 6x4. So we'll go with the mid-lift for now. Engine-wise, all Euro 6, you can get a 440, 480, and a 520. Oh, it was a 510, it's a 520. Gearbox, obviously, an Opto-Drive and an Opto-Drive R. With, well, the R stands for retarder. Interior, just the one interior stock, but as you can tell, it's actually fantastically modelled and well-made. Really, really well-made. Colours, you can get quite a fair amount of colours for it. You can get some really, really good ones. You can get seven links, shell. Oh, wow. We've got a couple of templates in there. I haven't looked into it properly, like, skinned. I haven't done any skins for this whatsoever. If you follow my channel, then you'll know I'm into the v into a VTC at the minute. So, well, trying to start one up. So, if you guys want to make a skin for me, go in a bit of a competition and see what you can come up with. Go ahead. Got Warner Brothers. Will Betts. This one looked pretty cool. Obviously, then you've just got all the standard colours below. I had That's what I had when on my one. Just the metallic. So, for the add-ons. Now, you can see, as we love our mods, the first thing you love to see is your screen full of dots. Now, go start from the back. You've got the gauge gear, which is the little markers there. Protection, which is um, rear mud flaps. You can see you can get a little light bar there. A couple of little light bars. Click on the side here. Side skirts. Absolutely love these side skirts with this bar at the bottom of it. Absolutely love them. Now, lights behind. You can get lamps on the back of the cab, which is these ones here that run up the back there. And you can get another set. You can get that one. So you can get lamps behind the cab one, which is what I had. The four, the four spotlights and two beacons, or you can just have it with the four spotlights, but we'll go with that one for now. So, starting, you can get also the antenna, got a nice antenna there. Horn, a couple of air horns. Now, light bars, you can get a set of light bars, three sets of light bars are there. We'll go with that one for now. Click on light bars, and you have nine light bars to choose from. That's the one I had, the, the um, light box. Can have all different varied spec ones. Right, we'll uh, we'll go for that one for now. Visor, just the one visor. Stock for that. Stock for that. Obviously, the three main mirrors. You've got the plastic paint and aluminium. On the front here, you've got bull bar. Now. This is for the, just behind the door there, you can see change of colour, you can either have a paint or plastic, I think that's minus paint, so we'll go for that one for now. Go for a nice another bull bar there as well, so you can you can pretty much fit a lot of bull bars for here. Now it says other lights, you click on it and it's meant to, I don't know whether what it installs or... Alright. Oh, that, well it's your, main, it's your main lights that is. So obviously you can change the... The grill, the grill there to either chrome or plastic. I like the plastic better. You obviously, you get the front, front little um, side lights there. Now you can 
pick from six different bull bars on the front. You've got the big old bull bar there. You've got one there with two lamps. Another one lower down, but with two lamps again. Now this one, you click on it, but it hasn't. I would have actually assumed it had lamps on it, but it hasn't. So, so we'll go for that one for now. Obviously, you can get mud flaps on the front. I didn't have that on mine, so. Wheels, you can get a lot of wheels. Lots and lots and lots. So, what should we go with? We will, we'll go with that one for now. So, obviously, you can just get the standard rims and stuff like that. What well, normally comes with a game. I didn't, well, mine, I didn't mess around with it too much. But, for it. For the truck, it is absolutely fantastic, and I think it's a brilliant mod. It's just, you look at it, just the, the amount of detail that's gone into the mod, you can just tell straight away. that it, it literally just isn't a mod that's been thrown together. It's just been well thought out. Even look where the ad blue is on the back down there. I absolutely love it. So, the next part will obviously be me, my final, my actual opinion of the truck. So there we are, that gives you a rough idea of what you can do with this mod. It is absolutely fantastic, it's really, like I said before, it is well thought out. Absolutely brilliant, I, like I say, I cannot floor it, not at all. You can sit there for a long while and you could most probably tune it and do all sorts, but I'll just give you guys a rough idea of what you can do with this mod and it even has its own sound. brilliant it's just even the interior the interior is so well thought out like some mods you get them and you look at the outside and you, they just look absolutely fantastic where and then you go inside and it just disappoints i've downloaded a few mods in the past where you download and you think oh the interior is gonna be brilliant and then you just get in as a standard ses one but this isn't this is a proper brilliant it's absolutely brilliant and it even has a sound mod inside <laughs> Just that little, them little things add up in the end. So, like I say, I cannot rate this truck high enough. It is fantastic, and you should, it should be in your mod folder. My game can run it easily. I know in the drive along, the computer did lag a little bit, but it is fantastic, absolutely brilliant. This, like I say, this is made by RTA Mods. The link for this truck is down in the description below, and so is the credits for. Um, for the, who make the makers of this truck, which is RTA. But like I say, I will be using this truck in my live stream next Saturday. So, um, on a map that you have chosen. So, yes, I, um, I look forward to sit here in your feedback and what you think of the truck as well. So, that brings me to the end of my mod review. So, please do let me know if you did enjoy this review. And if you found it useful at all, or if you have any questions about the mod at all, I will try and answer them to a certain degree. I don't know everything about it. I've just, like I say, I've seen it, loved it, used it, and just want to keep it. It's fantastic. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please do let me know. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. But, until then... Enjoy the rest of your day. 10-4, Diesel Dog out.